Український центр оцінювання якості освіти. Зовнішнє незалежне оцінювання з англійської мови. This is a listening test for the Ukrainian Independent External Evaluation. There are three tasks for the test. For each task of the test, there will be time for you to look through the questions and time for you to check your answers. At the start of each piece, you will hear this sound. You will have time at the end of the test to copy your answers onto the answer sheet. Remember, you must not speak during the test. And while you are listening, you can write your answers on the question paper of the testing notebook. Now, open your testing notebooks and look at task 1, questions 1 to 6. You will listen to 6 recordings. There are 6 questions in this task. For each question, choose the correct answer, A, B, or C. Now, look at the three pictures for question 1. Now, we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. What are we going to do after you walk your dog? Let's bike to the lake and relax there. My mom doesn't let me ride a bike on the road. She says it's dangerous. Let's then go roller skating. Oh no, this is also dangerous. And I don't have a helmet and pads. Come on, I have some to share with you. Good, but do you have a first aid kit in case something happens? What for? Don't worry, I'll take care of you. I promise. Now listen again. What are we going to do after you walk your dog? Let's bike to the lake and relax there. My mom doesn't let me ride a bike on the road. She says it's dangerous. Let's then go roller skating. Oh no, this is also dangerous. And I don't have a helmet and pads. Come on, I have some to share with you. Good, but do you have a first aid kit in case something happens? What for? Don't worry, I'll take care of you. I promise. Now, look at the three pictures for question two. Well, we have some heavy rains in England and Wales. And the good news is for Northwest, fewer showers and more sunshine. In other parts, the weather will be dry with some early morning mist. As for Scotland, the weather will be dry and bright, and it will be the same in Northern Ireland. Now, listen again. Well, we have some heavy rains in England and Wales. And the good news is for Northwest, fewer showers and more sunshine. In other parts, the weather will be dry with some early morning mist. As for Scotland, the weather will be dry and bright, and it will be the same in Northern Ireland. Now, look at the three pictures for question three. If you think you saw Rio de Janeiro during the Brazil Football World Cup, think again. Rio's fantastic natural landscape makes the 2016 Olympics the most attractive event ever. In addition, you can visit a lot of museums or relax on the famous sandy beaches. Now listen again. If you think you saw Rio de Janeiro during the Brazil Football World Cup, think again. Rio's fantastic natural landscape makes the 2016 Olympics the most attractive event ever. In addition, you can visit a lot of museums or relax on the famous sandy beaches.
Now you have 10 seconds to look at question 4. I'm Kelly Fondon Taylor. I'm 19 and I live in Seven Oaks. I wanted to do something to help the environment after seeing a TV show about deforestation. I heard of Greenpeace and I wanted to help them. My first ever campaign was at an autumn music festival. We set up a stall and went around with a cutout figure of the Prime Minister, asking people what they'd like to say to him about the problem of climate change. I was worried people would think we were hustling them while well, they were trying to have fun. Because we were giving them a chance to have a say in an interesting way, there was a cue to join in. Calls from the campaign were projected over the Houses of Parliament, and it was even on the news. I couldn't believe how much attention it got. I've now set up my own Greenpeace group in Seven Oaks. Now listen again. I'm Kelly Fondon Taylor. I'm 19 and I live in Seven Oaks. I wanted to do something to help the environment after seeing a TV show about deforestation. I heard of Greenpeace and I wanted to help them. My first ever campaign was at an autumn music festival. We set up a stall and went around with a cutout figure of the Prime Minister asking people what they'd like to say to him about the problem of climate change. I was worried people would think we were hustling them while well, they were trying to have fun. Because we were giving them a chance to have a say in an interesting way, there was a cue to join in. Calls from the campaign were projected over the Houses of Parliament, and it was even on the news. I couldn't believe how much attention it got. I've now set up my own Greenpeace group in Seven Oaks. Now you have 10 seconds to look at question 5. Smell that. Smell what? Smell the fresh air. Aren't you glad I got you to help me plant this garden? We're going to have so much fun today. Oh, oh, I'm glad to help, but I don't exactly have green fingers. That's okay. As long as you can tell a shovel from a lawnmower, you'll be fine. Let's start by moving these pots next to the bushes. Okay, your wish is my command. Oh, this bag of fertilizer is so heavy. Let me get that. Thanks. I didn't know we had so many large bags of seeds too. Do you want me to help you with those? Thanks a lot. I also need someone to help me hold this soil. I guess I could do that. Let's get on. Now listen again. Smell that. Smell what? Smell the fresh air. Aren't you glad I got you to help me plant this garden? We're going to have so much fun today. Oh, oh I'm glad to help, but I don't exactly have green fingers. That's okay. As long as you can tell a shovel from a lawnmower, you'll be fine. Let's start by moving these pots next to the bushes. Okay, your wish is my command. Oh, this bag of fertilizer is so heavy. Let me get that. Thanks. I didn't know we had so many large bags of seeds too. Do you want me to help you with those? Thanks a lot. I also need someone to help me hold this soil. I guess I could do that. Let's get on. Now you have 10 seconds to look at question 6. I'd like to order broadband internet for my laptop. Just plug the ethernet cable into your computer and a prompt will tell you the payment options. I don't have an ethernet port. My computer runs entirely on wireless service. That's too bad. 
but there are several alternatives. We run a fully equipped computer lab on the first floor, where we do offer wireless in our lobby. That sounds great! Now listen again. I'd like to order broadband internet for my laptop. Just plug the Ethernet cable into your computer and a prompt will tell you the payment options. I don't have an Ethernet port. My computer runs entirely on wireless service. That's too bad, but there are several alternatives. We run a fully equipped computer lab on the first floor, where we do offer wireless in our lobby. That sounds great! That is the end of task 1. Now, turn to task 2, questions 7 to 11. Look at the five statements for this task. You will listen to an interview. Decide if each statement is true or false. For statements 7 to 11, choose T if the statement is true according to the text, and F if it is false. Now, you will have 20 seconds to look at the questions for task 2. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. You know how everyone sometimes has bad days. Andy, can you tell us your story? One day I woke up at 8.10 in the morning, an hour later than I should have. I rushed to the bathroom, but tripped and fell down the last four stairs. After recovering from the fall, I ran into my computer room only to find my wide-open backpack and my dog Chappie chewing on my math book. Oh, not a very nice start to the day. Were you late for school then? Actually, no. But waiting for the school bus, I found my ruined headphones in my pocket. While I was assessing the damage, a cat scratched me on the leg and I started bleeding. The bus arrived at school later than usual, so I ran to my locker. When I opened it, all my books fell out and I began to clean them all up. Luckily, I got to the first hour in time, which surprised me a lot. I thought the day might get better, but of course, I was wrong. What else could have happened to you that afternoon? In the lunchroom, I was looking at my homework when my elbow hit the tray of food and it went all over my lap. After cleaning myself off, I continued my homework until the bell rang and got detention for being late for class. Then I found out my vocabulary test was horrible. Another F went into my report card. Did your misfortunes end there? Not that Tuesday. The night wasn't much better. My parents shouted at me for my bad grades. Now, all I wanted to do was sleep, but I couldn't. After three hours of tossing and turning, I finally got my well-needed rest. For the first time in hours, I felt like I was in a state of peace. Now listen again. You know how everyone sometimes has bad days. Andy, can you tell us your story? One day I woke up at 8.10 in the morning, an hour later than I should have. I rushed to the bathroom, but tripped and fell down the last four stairs. After recovering from the fall, I ran into my computer room only to find my wide-open backpack and my dog Chappie chewing on my math book. Oh, not a very nice start to the day. Were you late for school then? Actually, no. But waiting for the school bus, I found my ruined headphones in my pocket. While I was assessing the damage, a cat scratched me on the leg and I started bleeding. The bus arrived at school later than usual, so I ran to my locker. When I opened it, all my books fell out and I began to clean them all up. Luckily, I got to the first hour in time, which surprised me a lot. I thought the day might get better, but of course, I was wrong. What else could have happened to you that afternoon? 
In the lunchroom, I was looking at my homework when my elbow hit the tray of food and it went all over my lap. After cleaning myself off, I continued my homework until the bell rang and got detention for being late for class. Then I found out my vocabulary test was horrible. Another F went into my report card. Did your misfortunes end there? Not that Tuesday. The night wasn't much better. My parents shouted at me for my bad grades. Now, all I wanted to do was sleep, but I couldn't. After three hours of tossing and turning, I finally got my well-needed rest. For the first time in hours, I felt like I was in a state of peace. That is the end of task two. Now, turn to task three, questions 12 to 16. You will listen to a story. For questions 12 to 16, choose the correct answer, A, B, or C. Now, you have 45 seconds to look at the questions for task three. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. If you're tired of traditional vacations like a cruise to the Bahamas or going to Mexico, there may soon be an option that is out of this world. Since 2001, the company Space Adventures has already sent seven clients to the International Space Station. Dr. Charles Simone has even traveled in space twice. The goals for both of his missions were to encourage commercial space travel, take part in space station research, and attract the world's youth to the science of space travel. His website has 33 million viewers. Now the company Space Adventures hopes to bring tourists on a trip around the moon. The seats are going to cost 150 million each, and the company has already sold tickets to their first two clients. However, it has not been decided yet whether they will take one or two passengers on the first flight. Although there are few people who can pay for such a journey, the trip is worth every penny the clients will spend on it. After all, only 18 people have ever seen the moon at such a short distance, and nobody has done it since 1972. After leaving Earth on a rocket, the tourist and the cosmonaut pilot will make a stop at the International Space Station before taking a trip around the moon. The trips themselves will last about 17 days, and half that time will be used to go to the moon. How close will travelers get? Space Adventures director Eric Anderson says they hope to bring the spaceship within 100 kilometers of the moon's surface. It is planned that the rockets will be modified to make the trip as comfortable as possible, because it will be a commercial vacation and not a scientific mission. Before any commercial trips to the moon take place, the company is going to do some tests with no passengers on board to make sure that the equipment is suitable for such trips. If the tests are successful, we can only hope that other companies will get into the space travel business to cut costs. So, how low should the price be before you take a vacation to the moon? Now, listen again. If you're tired of traditional vacations like a cruise to the Bahamas or going to Mexico, there may soon be an option that is out of this world. Since 2001, the company Space Adventures has already sent seven clients to the International Space Station. 
Dr. Charles Simoni has even traveled in space twice. The goals for both of his missions were to encourage commercial space travel, take part in space station research, and attract the world's youth to the science of space travel. His website has 33 million viewers. Now the company Space Adventures hopes to bring tourists on a trip around the moon. The seats are going to cost 150 million each, and the company has already sold tickets to their first two clients. However, it has not been decided yet whether they will take one or two passengers on the first flight. Although there are few people who can pay for such a journey, the trip is worth every penny the clients will spend on it. After all, only 18 people have ever seen the moon at such a short distance, and nobody has done it since 1972. After leaving Earth on a rocket, the tourist and the cosmonaut pilot will make a stop at the International Space Station before taking a trip around the moon. The trips themselves will last about 17 days, and half that time will be used to go to the moon. How close will travelers get? Space Adventures director Eric Anderson says they hope to bring the spaceship within 100 kilometers of the moon's surface. It is planned that the rockets will be modified to make the trip as comfortable as possible, because it will be a commercial vacation and not a scientific mission. Before any commercial trips to the moon take place, the company is going to do some tests with no passengers on board to make sure that the equipment is suitable for such trips. If the tests are successful, we can only hope that other companies will get into the space travel business to cut costs. So, how low should the price be before you take a vacation to the moon? That is the end of task three. Now you have three minutes to check and copy your answers onto the answer sheet.
You have one more minute. This is the end of the listening test. Thank you. Роботу над частиною розуміння мови на слух завершено. Приступайте до виконання наступної частини тесту.